Hello everybody and welcome back. The case is done. Um, as you can see, it's um, pretty much an almost standard looking Amiga 2000 case. Um, it turned out to be a lot more work than I had ever imagined, but at the same time it turned out absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's really nothing that I would have done different if I was to do it again regarding the design. Although maybe I would have made it a little bit a little bit more wide uh, because I do have some constraints um, with the uh, what is it called the deinterlacer card. Um, it actually has a potentiometer on on one side of it and that hits the case but apart from that it's absolutely perfect and it fits absolutely perfect too um, so I'm really happy with that as you can see I've already um, put a uh, layer of aluminium down uh, this aluminium um, is conductive and it basically acts as an uh, emission protection so um, this way I can make sure that I'm not too bad regarding emissions and I don't know if the um, if the board actually needs something so um, with this aluminium tape um, it's always a pretty good solution also I added this battery pack down here I know it's way overkill um, but these were the only three sol solar batteries that I could find and uh, they have very little self-discharge and uh, I put them um, to the side and these are they're going to be replaced by a lithium cell um, just as soon as I get another Schottky diode that I need to make sure that it can't be charged from the board um, but that's that is just going to be a light, a little change on the side. Um, the top is also um, pretty much done and it fits in absolutely snug. And once the case is closed, there are basically no gaps all around. So this is it when it's absolutely in its resting state. So uh, no screws, no nothing. It's just being held closed with uh, two stickers. And that's it. So beautiful fit. And uh, I like the design. I like the, I like the notching. And uh, I may still decide to give it a light sanding, but I don't think that that will change the looks of it very much. It will just give me some, some better rounded edges. So the front is actually six layers of three millimeter uh, plywood. The sides and the top are two and the back is two sheets as well. I did have a slight curve appearing when the uh, glue for the top um, had dried. I don't know why um, because I made sure that everything was clamped down uh, absolutely um, as good as I could uh, but um, no idea where that came from and um, I also have a slight uh, curve in the and the backboard but uh, since the boards will be fixed to the top with uh, two screws one on each side um, that is not going to be so much of an issue and uh, oh yeah of course I did add some beefy feet and uh, they give this a very good look and uh, well now it's time to put her back together again.
the actual putting it back together again is going to be in another video um, because first I want to do a few uh, verifications on the board that all the capacitors on there are okay. I'm pretty sure they are, but I want to test. And I want to do another test because I'm still having issues with the, um, with the graphics card that came with it and I can't get that to run 100%. And uh, so I will still have to do a little bit of work to it before I can uh, get it all back together again and make it a whole. So thanks for watching and bye bye.